Ah, uh, we are making progress here. It's coming along very nicely. Oh, hello there, everyone. This is Chemdork, and welcome to another video. Um, this is another Minecraft video, and here we have the Buildcraft mod. We're kind of continuing along the Buildcraft Let's Play. You may notice there's a new edition, maybe. I don't know if you've been keeping up, but if you haven't, there's a new edition. Uh, so, but uh, I'll go over what's what's briefly what's here. My humble abode, my magic wizard hat hut thing. I don't know. Uh, I will probably never shape this into something fun. I don't know. But anyway, so here it is. A uh, rudimentary wheat farm, very rudimentary melon farm, very rudimentary tree farm. And then we got Geyser Mountain here. This is uh, the oil geyser where it used to be. The oil geyser used to be there, and now it's all the way down the bottom. Uh, there's a quite large lake down the bottom that I'm pumping out of now. It's not an unlimited supply, but it's quite a large supply of oil, so I'm pretty good. Um, there is the power station right there, second level, which powers this, which is the refinery, which is refining this oil into fuel, which is in the yellow stuff in the tanks there. Uh, this new line here is pumping out that fuel to these two tanks, which I'll get into later. Um, we got our water line to cool the oil rig. There's water pumping stations over there, cactus farm, the cactus processing facility. Uh, if you missed the videos on that, go ahead and check them out. The control room, which is kind of controlling some aspects. I don't really know. It's it's a control room. Let's put it that way. And then these two things right here. Um, this is going to be for my storage room. It may not be this blueprint, but it's roughly where I want to place it. I might make it a little bigger here. I'm not sure. Um, and this is for something else. This is actually going to be my control, I guess my factory, my processing factory for my quarry. And we're going to have two. We're going to have one here initially, and then I'm going to add another one over here a little later. And inside this facility, in fact, let's go ahead and knock down this tower. Do, 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 do. Come on. There we go. Uh, let's run. There we go. All right. These two fuel tanks are going to be for various machinery and automated contraptions that are going to be down here. Uh, because I don't want to constantly pump fuel from over there, and I also don't want to make fuel go to basically everywhere uh, when I only need it in a specific location. So that's what these are for. One of them is going to exclu exclusively feed a power station here. The power station will be powering two quarries. So um, I won't go crazy on the number of engines. It's only going to be a few, really. So part of this is going to be that. I might make it a little larger. And the other part is going to be the processing part of the quarry, because quarries, um, well, actually, you know what? It might be a good idea to go into my creative world, and I'll show you some quarries in action. Ready for the nice uh, screen wipe? Ready? We're going to do a, uh, um, what is it? Ah, oh, man, what's the movie? Uh, oh, yeah. Uh, I don't know. Wayne's World. Yes, there it is. Woof. Name escaped me. A Wayne's World. Cool, so these orange suckers are quarries. And as you see, they kind of hollow out a square portion. They can be any size, these are just default size. Um, that contraption over there is one piece of awesomeness we're going to be adding to our world. It is awesome, we will go through it later, but let me just tell you, it's going to save me a lot of work, and even though it's going to kind of take a little while to build, but not too long. But anyways, it's going to be awesome. So yeah, stay tuned for the awesomeness. That is that. It's going to be there. It's going to be awesome. Awesome. Anyways, so here are quarries. And let me go ahead and turn on all the quarries. I, I think this still has some, like, fuel. I, I think this will still work. Yep, it still does. All right, so here's a crazy power plant. I just decided to go nuts on my power. Look how look how thick this this uh, beam of electricity is. You can just hear it hum. Actually, you can't hear it hum. It would be nice if they added an electric hum. But you see these quarries are now in action. And you see it kind of has an arm that is sucking up blocks one by one. And if you kind of look at this one for a second, it's coming out the quarry. See how these, well, it's hard to see those. Here, this one's better. You can see all the, the dirt and sand and cobble blocks, and they're all going over here. And for this, in this case, I just have them all going to one spot, these few chests. And you see you get all sorts of fun things automatically for you, it sort of automatically mines an area, and you can define this area, so it's awesome. 
we're going to put this quarry in um, our single player world. So let's go back there now and uh, run and start work on one. Okay. So uh, let's go back. Ready? Diddly do, diddly do, diddly do, diddly do, diddly do. Back again. And now, yes, we're going to put our quarry. Ooh, come on, world. Load, load nice and slow. There we go. <laughs> I saw a naked mountain for a while. But anyway, so we're going to put our quarry right in the middle of this swamp. Why, you might ask? I mean, like, I'm missing out on one whole layer of dirt and, you know, blocks that I can mine. Well, the thing is, the quarry can mine underwater. It's uh, no problem for mining underwater, so I hear. I actually haven't tried it yet, but I hear that it's fine. And um, the problem is, the quarry will stop if it reaches lava or bedrock. So bedrock's fine, I don't care. I don't want it to mine out, like, in a void and, you know, get, have problems there. Uh, but lava, well, you kind of want it to keep on going, because what if it hits a pool of lava that's like 20 blocks down, and then it just stops? Um, it'll mine out everything around that lava, but it won't mine the lava itself. So the idea that I had was, why not put it in a swamp here that's like one water level thick? <laughs> Swamps are great because they have this shallow water. So I can just have it start to dig a hole, and as it digs the hole, the hole is filled in with water which means that any lava that you encounter is instantly turned to either obsidian or, which is awesome, because then you can mine obsidian and get a bunch of that, or it is turned into cobblestone, which is awful, also fine. So that's the idea that I have. I think it'll work out pretty well. So um, let's go ahead and do that. First things first, we need to, well, we need to set up our power plant. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. We did it over there. Um, I'm going to go ahead and do that, and uh, you'll just sort of see me making things here, uh, uh, or setting up things here. Uh, I might record some of it and, you know, give you give you a, a taste, but otherwise I'll just be back with it magically built. Well, we're back. I hope you enjoyed that fast forward through the uh, busy parts of making this power plant. 
basically the idea here is that they are um, this is an, this is going to be an eight uh, combustion engine power plant, so something much smaller than what I have up there. Actually, not that much smaller, but quarries are big, and I'm going to power two, so whatever. I got water coming in here. It's a standalone pump separately. This is the the water line is the dark line here. The fuel line is this gray one, light gray, which is coming right from this tank alone. And um, this tank will probably also have a feeder going out this way toward the various engines that might need it in my quarry. Um, but actually, no, the quarry, I think I might have it run by redstone. Because the idea about the quarry is this. The quarry is going to put out some blocks, say dirt, say cobble. Uh, ooh, well, yeah, there you go. Iron, which I found a whole lot going underneath there. Um, <coughs> dirt is just going to kind of go along, you know, even redstone. It's going to find some redstone. So it's going to find redstone. It's going to find dirt. We're going to do nothing with those other than uh, ferry them over to the storage area and put them in chests. The other two, t the other kind of blocks, though, are smeltable ones, ones that have to go into a furnace or that might go into a furnace. In the case of iron, it has to go into a furnace before it really is anything useful. So it would be nice if that is automatically done for me. And so that's what this area is for here. This is for processing the smelting uh, ones, as well as sorting through all the non-smelting uh, items. And actually, there's quite a long list of possible items I've made for what I might find down here in, uh, in, our, in my quarry. Um, cobblestone is a special case, that and sand, because they can be placed into a furnace to make stone or glass. But I might not want all of them placed into a furnace. So what I'm going to do is basically split sand and cobble separately. And they're going to have a sort of special line where one half of them goes toward just right into a chest and one half goes toward furnaces for smelting. And uh, I'm going to have six furnaces, two for uh, dedicated for cobblestone. Um, I'll have, I wrote it down here, hold on, give me a second. Yeah, two for cobblestone, one for sand, one for iron, one for clay, and one for gold. And um, we're going to do the same coal uh, loop like we did over there in the cactus processing facility. I guess we could actually use the same coal chest. Um, and in fact, what I might end up doing is using the same for both. So uh, that'll be pretty cool to do it that way. But that's a later stage addition. So for now, let's go ahead and work on this facility. Whoops. Uh, and it should be pretty fun.